Welcome back to Alderp's Farm. We're on No Man's Land. Haha, -ha. remember this time without prepping. <laughs> Hitman82, I'm joining it. I'm here with Fat Man. Hello, Fat Man. Hello. And Squirrely is in the dumpster. Where'd Squirrely go? He's around here somewhere anyway. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Yeah, so. <laughs> Squirrel. Hello. Amazingly, he's behind you! It's not panto season, honestly. <laughs> Back against the wall, and I can't get behind me. I'll see where he's coming from now. Oh dear, so last time we'd got the derpy pallets, and I didn't even know how many we had. Um, so what I did is I basically downloaded from the server the save game, and I edited the XML file, the vehicle's XML file, just to pull these pallets out from the new... Uh, scenery that was added to the sawmill, so we don't lose out on anything. Excellent. So there we go. So that's that's basically what was stuck in here. <laughs> so amazing, isn't it? And they're all in the same this way coordinate. It's literally just the I moved them out from the this way coordinate. Yeah. So the X or the Y, one or the other. Yeah, pretty much. It's just the Here's, here's an oil drum that says oil of Switzerland. But do they have access to oil? Or is it just oil from everybody just, you know, didn't wash their hair for a while and they put all the squeezins into one barrel? Or mm -hmm. like, where'd the oil from Switzerland come from? Well, I don't know. But there we go. <laughs> anyway, we're going to zoom anyway. to the shop. Because um, our next okay. job is we're going to do another upgrade. Of equipment. Oh, you're not going to get rid of the little electric one. Nope. Okay, you're just getting rid of the mower. and. going to get rid of the mower, the windrower, the tedder, and we're going to buy some new stuffs. Yay. Do you want me to just throw all the stuff right here in the cell point? Yeah, yeah sure. That works. And we're certainly not selling the executive schluter. Or the electric. Tractor. No, we're not selling any tractors. Um, good, good. It's just we equipment. So, um, we'll just give we... everything a quick repair before we sell it. Because usually that's a good thing to do. It's just nice to the next person. Also, it's, it, you tend to get more back from value by repairing it than you do. So you, it's more profitable to do that in what I've seen. Okay, so that's everything sold. So now, let's go spend the money! Spend yeah, the money, spend the money. Spend the money. So I already, already kind of um, looked through what we want to get. I think we want the... What's that one? So it's that one. We're going to have that one for that. We are going to have... That one. For that. Really standing in the cell point. I did that because they're about the same size. One's 8.4 and one's 8.7 meters, which is about yeah. double what we had before. And uh, mowers wise, we are going to go to the coons. Because that's, without going too expensive, that's the best that we can get with a front back. Um, butterfly configuration. No, you've put it on the wrong one. Oh, sorry, I didn't know there was a plan. Sorry, yeah, the the, the only one that can take front and back is the is the electric. So that's yeah. why it's going to take the mowers. Oh my gosh, will it run the mowers is the question. We're about to find out. Bits of chips. Alright, well... Uh, I'm assuming you want this stuff all taken back to the farm. Yes, well, we're going to go and, and use it. Yes, where are we using it? At the the, the big um, grass field that Squirrely made. Right Hidden back. It looks like Squirrely's got the uh, tether. Good, good. You could just grab whatever and wow. hold it out. Well, we've got it all because that's why I brought this schluter up. If we if we didn't have the executive schluter, then we wouldn't have been able to get everything all in a one-er. So yeah, gotcha. that would mean then someone's got to go back and forth, and it's just yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, 
So yeah, so it's exciting. We get some bigger stuff. Well, yeah, I've got to start moving with the times. I mean, the Squirrely will attest because he's done it off screen. But um, with yeah. that with that small equipment, doing these much larger areas of grass was just painful and time consuming. So it's perfect. And we've only spent what's it sixty thousand doing that. And I think mm -hmm. we're going to get way more than that back when we sell the silage, which we'll probably be doing next time we record. Not next episode, but next time we record, because we record two episodes together. Just in case anyone watching hasn't picked up on that. Um, although I'm sure you're all clever enough to have uh, realised that. Except for me. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Ah, oh, well. You're obviously not watching very closely, Hitman. Well, it's a derp farm, so I was derping. I mean, is that not my job? That's yes, 100% yes. of the job description. <laughs> it's very, very much part of uh, what we expect from you. Literally called All Derp's Farm. If I wasn't Derp, and I wouldn't belong here. If you weren't entirely a Derp, you wouldn't yeah, exist here. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you might right. want to think that one through. All right. Right. Did I go to the wrong place? I did. I didn't know which field, because we have a whole bunch of grass fields, so I didn't know which one. On my way with the Windrower. I go last anyway, so... Yes, so I'm going to just give this a go now, and we're going to see how well this works. So, are we bailing this for more silage? No, we're bailing it for... For... okay. For hay. Alrighty. Okay. So it's great, it can, it can run them, but um, I can't actually get it to move. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to come and push you? I'll give you a push to get started. Yeah, it does, doesn't surprise me that I can't do it. I mean, it's a pretty big setup yeah. for a little tractor. It might need to, to kind of lease a different tractor for that. Okay, what we're going to do? Um, what are we going to do? We're going to. Uh, at the um, tractor. Find one that's not too expensive. Eh? The pallets that you rescued, uh, do you want them taken over to the sawmill, one of the sawmills, or where are they headed? Uh, they probably want to go to the, vet, the carpenter. Carpenter, that's right over there. This that's... Okay. Try something wrong. That one do it. I figure since I'm wind rowing, I get time to yeah. move some pallets. Now we've kind of gone into the realms of... I hadn't planned on this bit, so... Um, <laughs> slightly off script, but there we go. Never mind. It would um, be a derp farm if you weren't derping. Ed Zachary. Oh, him again. Uh, yeah, I know. Isn't he a friend of Brew's? Yes, he is. He and Brew are just... They're so close. Um, so we got one of those. Great so that friends, one's like got. And water. We just go together. Oh wait. Gonna load up the pallets. What's up, too squirrely? No, I'm just checking things out on on the shop there. That John Deere, you could probably just buy that one straight out. It's only like, huh. The six over a hundred thousand. Yeah, it's got the front and back. Which John Deere are you talking about? The uh, seventy-eight ten. Which is under what section? The medium ones. Oh yeah. And it's in that it's one. Got, and then it's one hundred and seventy-five horsepower. Yeah. Which is plenty for what we would need. Yep, yeah, that would work. Yay, squirrely. If I can... You gonna bail the, uh... The, where the harvester is as well, squirrely? I'm surprised you weren't already working on that. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, I don't think... Do we want goops on it? Do we want goops on it? Of course you want goops on it. Yes, we do want goops on it. So I'm going to lease it. I'm not going to actually buy it outright just yet. 
Okay. You can always buy it later. Yeah. Well, that's the whole purpose of having the the lease to buy. So, yeah. right. Okay, you bring that up. I'll get this set up for you. Yeah, this one obviously will be the mower because um, ha the whole point of the front attaches. It's just a shame that uh, we're going to have less use for the electric one now. I was hoping. It, well, that's I was, good for I was moving hoping, stuff around. I hadn't tested. Yeah. I was hoping really that it would work, but um, it's it's a fantastic little tractor and. Obviously, we'll still keep the old New Holland baler because we do still want to have some of the smaller bales every once in a while um, to, to use for the horses because they're just easy to handle because you can sling them around with your hands. Although we do sometimes, some of us, not mentioning any names, sometimes use the... Um, the cheaty cheater thing from um, from the lumberjack mod, I think it is, and uh, cheater, cheater. you can just pick up things that are very very heavy. So it's just gonna oops. There we go. Off we go back to the field. Gonna work this time. Oh, it's it's. If it doesn't work this time, then I want my money back. Um, basically. Um, so, but there we go. We've we've expanded the farm. We we have a new tractor as well, and we're not like I said, we're not selling tractors yet. Although, in all honesty, if we, if we were gonna normalize it and get rid of a tractor to compensate for this, it would probably be the Iseki. Yeah, the blue one there. Yeah. yeah. Mhm. Mm yep. Agreed. You definitely, uh, well, in my opinion, anyway, you definitely want to keep one small tractor around. Just uh, yeah, they're just useful, useful for smaller things and. Yeah, like I said, that, that's why I would get rid of the Iseki and not the not the um, rigid track. Plus, we have an emotional attachment to it now. Yeah. It's gonna be here the whole time. We're not gonna get rid of it ever. We might get rid of everything else, but not that or the Schluter. So are we doing the straw with big bales or little bales? Um, the straw? Probably... Um, I haven't done any of the straw for a while, so... I think let's, let's leave that for now, because we haven't finished that field. I'm, I've been doing that just to get ready, so... I would probably just, uh, leave it for now and, uh... Alright. We'll come back to that. Of course, I, we've we've put the GPS on this, and I'm not using it at all right now. We will at some point. We'll use it for stuff. Oh yeah, definitely want to have it because that tractor will likely keep for a while. I imagine. Yeah, it's probably going to be one of the primary workhorses of doing heavy stuff. So, yeah. what, with, what with having all of the horsepowers. All of them, except for the three over here in the corral. All your horsepowers are belong to us in the John Deere. Which means, if if if, if Brew was watching this series, he's now unsubscribed from my channel. Um, he's probably <laughs> blocking me on Discord. <laughs> Massey makes a good tractor. We'll get those and Squ Squirrely yeah. suggested it, so Squirrely's under the bus as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well... He, he just doesn't like me, so I'm under the bus, too. Oh, dear. Well, that's because that's the... The best options for the price. Yes, yes, I think so. I was just looking to make sure. I, I was fairly sure that the Kuhn didn't offer the ability to merge this into a single stream, and it doesn't from what I can tell. Yay, that... Okay, that must be squirrely squirreling. So I guess um, I'll wait for one pass around and then I'll... Oh, you know what? I can um, windrow a bit of the straw first and that'll keep me busy for a moment. What do you think of that? Anything that keeps you quiet. Yeah, well... I don't know what that... Even even the John Deere is trying to get up this hill when I turn the corner with with both of these mowers going is going. Ugh! 
just give me a, just give me a minute to get me breath. <laughs> yep. So the the poor the poor riggy track would be kind of. You want me to what? Are you crazy? <laughs> Lift everything up. Drive to the top of the hill. You can only mow downhill. Yeah. It was yeah. like that with one mower. I'm not worried about the little bits where I'm cornering and it's uh, what's sitting. So, because what I'm going to do is once I've done these, I'm going to probably do up and down passes because it just makes more sense that way. And that way, then I can start to use the old machinery magic. Okay. All right, and I just gave this show on the road i got straw i'm working on straw wait. and then i'll come over squirrely you're just about ready to wait wait you, there's a show what, what are you Sorry. talking what are you talking about just being um rhetorical no i don't believe Is it there a show i don't know out the weird things show. that's already doing what i want it to do I guess I can't get that. I thought there was straw there, but I guess not. Okay. Once you've done that pass, I'm literally going to be doing up-down passes using the old goops now. Really. Alright. Just because... It'll make it easier for the person rowing to not go round and round. And we'll avoid no, some of those situations with the corners where it's cornering with this just means you you miss patches of grass. All right, well, we got three of us working on the grass field. That's good. Yep. Progress. Better than two people working and one, I don't know, riding around on a motorbike. Yeah, I mean, when did that <laughs> ever happen? I, I only do it when I got nothing else to do. Or when you don't want to do anything that's available to do. Mm. Can't think of any time when that was the case, but I'll take your word for it just because I'm being agreeable. <laughs> okay, I'm done being agreeable. You don't, you're wrong. Of course I'm wrong. Who who would ever have thought that you would think that I was right? I mean... Not me, that's for sure. Do, 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 do. Oh, man. I don't know if I sound any different, but I am on a new computer, and I'm so happy. Did you, change, did you change your headset as well? Nope. No, nope, it is a hundred percent audio card on the on the motherboard. Okay, well, the, because all of that cr all of that background crackly squeaky squeaky noise is gone. I didn't even, I didn't even know that was a thing. Well, I'd said to you about it once, and you did something, and it kind of disappeared a little bit, but it's completely gone, as in hundred percent gone. So, huh? Interesting. So. Yay? Yeah, definitely You're yay. You're welcome. <laughs> I, I, it makes me a lot happier. Oh, well, I, don't, I don't know about everyone at home. If everyone at home... No, they just want mute. But no, yeah, they just... No yeah. The only way that's going to work is if you start recording in multiple channels so they can mute the one channel I'm on. Well... Otherwise, they're just going to have to listen... Could be worse. Okay. Could be two of me. 
wins. Mm, no. Doesn't bear thinking about. So before I was playing this, my video card was running at 74 degrees Celsius, and right now it's running at 55. So, win? I mean, it's not even taxed on this video card at all. I'm going to 3060, which is, it's not new. I mean, it's new to me. Mm. It's a new product, but it's not. What is it? What was the one I've got? I've got the 3080. I forget. Oh, yeah. I, I forget what I've got. Everyone's kind of... <laughs> Everyone's been kind of, oh, I can't believe you got one of those. Get, yeah, I just put it on order for building a computer, and of course there was so much supply issues around those when they first started. Yeah, yeah, which is why I've waited this long. This is why I went from a forty-seven ninety to a twelve seven hundred. So fourth gen to twelfth gen Intel. <laughs> That's quite a jump. You see, I actually went from Intel to AMD. Yeah, I've I've done yeah, AMD. I even did Cirrus back in the day, a different company back when they were uh, Pentiums, four eighty six and Pentium. No problem with AMD. Just in this particular case, uh, the build I wanted. This is what I ended up with. Mm, that's fine. I said I I'd had Intel chips for quite some time, so I just wanted to see what would happen. And and looking, because uh, I was talking to One G about it when the, when I did that. It, he was saying that the um, the heat um, ratios are better on the AMD. But that particular time, they were better on the AMD than they were on the Pent on the Intel's. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Keep pressing the wrong freaking buttons. Uh, most of the gaming I do is single core, so I, th I think that's the main reason I chose Intel over AMD. Mm hmm. But anyway. They both work, they're both good, but I don't really have a preference over one over the other. Well, it's, I mean, flexibility and adaptability is where you want to be with things like that, because if you get stuck in particular ways, then it doesn't exactly help. So there we go. So, yeah. So we've we've upgraded our equipment, and we are all three of us kind of at work doing a great big um, hay harvest, and we will be back again, probably once I've finished the mowing, where we're baling it up. Nice. Baling Can't it wait. up, and obviously we'll be baling into the the the, the big rounds. So that'll be good. Cool. Well, thank you everyone so much for joining us. I'm assuming that was an intro to an outro. It was an intro to an outro. <laughs> Excellent. So we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Take care, folks!